Hi you guys. In this video, I wanted to talk about image because there was a time in my life where I really learned a valuable lesson. And it's a lesson that you yourself couldn't experience unless you were there yourself. So I have some insight about an experience that most of you don't have. Most of you. There might be a few of you that do, but most of you don't. And if you're someone that has pets or a pet, let's say you got a dog. Cats will even do this. I've had cats that have done it. Your pet does not give a damn what you have. They don't care what you look like. Your face could be melted from a fire and an and a animal won't care. They will love you unconditionally, no matter how you live, how you dress, how you look, what you have, what you drive. They don't care. Animals just want to be loved by you, accepted by you, and they give it fully in return. They're faithful. They will always be by your side. They will never leave you. There's pet owners that have set up surveillance cameras in their homes just so they could later go back and view what their pets do when the owner leaves. And what they find upon leaving the house and later look at the footage, that a dog will roam through the house restlessly and whimper. Cats will pace and meow, waiting for their owner to return. And then when you return and walk through the door, they're so excited and happy to see you. They don't care if you're filthy. They don't care if you're partially dressed. All they want is to be with you. And if someone says, why are animals like this? And people are not. It's because of one element. Ego, pets, animals, all animals lack ego. When the ego is absent, you then see the true nature of things. And this is why animals are the way that they are. Because only humans are the only thing on planet Earth that has an ego. And it's what ruins everything. This is something you will see at its extreme if you were to be homeless. When I was homeless, I saw a side of humanity that I never otherwise would have seen had I not been in the situation that I was at the time I was. You can only get this experience and truly see it and experience it if you are in that situation. To see it at its extreme, at its fullest. Now, there's a reason why that I mentioned in the previous video that the two things that are important to me in this world are important to me in this world. And this had something to do with it. To me, it was like the ultimate test because I'm a person that puts my money where my mouth is. And when I was homeless for a year, it was not because I fell on hard times. 
It wasn't due to circumstances that were out of my control. I became homeless on purpose. On purpose. A lot of people that have watched my videos and been with me for many years don't know this. I believe I've mentioned it before, but I don't think it was a part of the video they caught. I did it on purpose. Because I wanted something so badly that I told God I would give up everything that I have for it. Everything. I didn't just say it. I did it. I sacrificed everything that I had right down to my fishing pole. And I got everything out of my life. So I was left with absolutely nothing but the clothes on my back. That's it. I would have even gotten rid of those but because you can't walk around in the nude, I only had the clothes on my back. Why did I do that? It was because I told God the one thing that I wanted was to love somebody and to have someone love me back as much as I love them. And I would sacrifice everything for it. And I did. Because I did what I said I was going to do. And at that time, I was the happiest I have ever been in my life. I have never been so happy. That may sound crazy to somebody that's never been homeless to say, how is it you could be so happy when you have absolutely nothing? Well, you see, I didn't have nothing. I had something. I had love. And it was worth getting rid of everything that I had for it because what I gained was far better than what I lost. And nobody, nobody understood that. Anybody I talked to could not wrap their mind around that. But I, at that time, felt more wealthy than every single human being around me because the people that loathed me could not stand me because I was dirty, because I had long hair, because I was unemployed, I was homeless. I was very, very thin and had bailing twine holding my pants up. People wanted me to go away. They didn't want to look at me. They didn't want to be around me. And those people were some of the most heartless people I've ever experienced in my life. Yet these were people that were much older than myself. They were married, had families, and they were miserable. Absolutely miserable. They fought. One of the spouse would leave to get away from the other, go somewhere else for a time, and then come home where the arguments would continue. These were very unhappy people. And I felt at the time when I was homeless that I had a million times more than what these people ever had. I thought, look at their homes. Look at the property. Look at what they have inside of their homes. Look at the clothes they wear. But being that miserable and that unhappy, what do they ultimately have? The very thing that does not matter to God, and that's materialism. They were lacking the one thing that is the most important thing in the universe, not just on planet Earth, but in the entire universe, which is universal, and that is endless love, pure, faithful love. How many songs have been written in all genres of music that without love you have nothing? And it's true. 
But if you give up everything and have nothing for love, you've gained everything. And that's why I did it. Because I loved the girl that I was with at the time so much, I gave away everything for her. And I did everything for her. And when I say everything, I mean everything. So, ego is what destroys people. People that don't understand that it's the little things, the simple things, the things that money cannot buy. I would do it again to this day. I would walk away and give away everything to be that happy again. The keys to the van, the van itself, all the contents of my home, this house, my tools, my camping and fishing gear, my clothes, everything, right down to winter boots. I would give away every single thing to feel what I felt in those days again. And sometime I will do a video to, to explain to my viewers why I feel that way. There is a big, big reason, a huge reason why that is so important to me and will always be that important to me until the day I take my last breath. That will never change. And I wouldn't change that experience for the world because in my lifetime, that was the, one of the biggest, best lessons I ever experienced and lived through. And I will never forget it. Because you see where you are right now and all the things that you have and all your friends and your relatives and your family and all the people that you think are there for you and have your back, I am here to tell you right now would shock you at how fast that would change if you ended up with nothing, if you were homeless. You can believe me or not, but you would see things that would make you question a lot. And you would say, my God, I thought that person was my friend. My God, I can't believe my brother thinks that way of me. My God, I cannot believe that people that I care about and are close to could turn on me like that. But it would happen. And you'd be very, very surprised. So the only thing that makes your life what it is is because you haven't gone through something so extreme to really weed out the fake people that are only in your life because you haven't fallen on hard enough times because you can literally count your friends on one hand and it's all because of ego going back to what I was talking about with animals. And that's the reason why animals don't care. They only care about you, you. They don't care about your house, your clothes, and what you drive. You could have two vehicles down at the end of your driveway. Let's say you got a long driveway, and you could have them both parked down at the end. And let's say you say to your dog, you want to go for a ride? You want to go bye bye?" And the dog starts getting all excited, running in circles, wagging its tail, and it might bark at you. And like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. It's all happy to go. And down at that end of the driveway, you could have a 1950s, Stepside old rust bucket Chevrolet, all rusted out, junky looking, old, you know, burns oil, smokes, and sitting right next to it could be a Lamborghini. You could let that dog into the Lamborghini and it'd be just as excited to go for a ride as it would be as if you let it into the old truck. There would be absolutely no difference. Animals don't care. Only people do when it comes to the senseless, stupid stuff in life. That is ego 
at its greatest. That's why. That's why animals are so different than humans. They lack the one thing that make human beings suck. Thanks for watching, you guys, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.